Hi there. Just take a look at this uh, USB power adapter. I picked this up from uh, a local supermarket. In fact, it was Asda I got it from uh, last year to charge my uh, Samsung phone because in the UK they've stopped, well, uh, the mobile network I got this uh, phone from, they've stopped supplying uh, phones with chargers. They just stick a USB lead in the box. Of course, I can charge it off my computer. We also can buy wall outlets with uh, USB uh, connectors, uh, sockets built in them. But I got this anyway, to, if I need to travel anywhere or so a power supply. And obviously you get the cheap dodgy ones on eBay, which I did a video about and blew one up. But this one, I think it cost about six pounds. It's made by Status, which uh, manufactures stuff for Asda, which is owned by Walmart. And it's a switching power supply. Is the camera all focus on it? Its primary is 100 to 240 volts, so it's universal. So if you take a go on holiday to North America or another country that operates on a lower voltage, 6050 uh, 60, hertz. Now it says on here 260 milliamps. Now 260 milliamps at what? Is that 100 volts or 240 volts? Because if it's uh, a fixed current input and the output voltage is varying. That means that the output current is going to vary, but it, it's a secondary 5 volt DC, 2100 milliamps, so that's 2.1 amp supply. Um, we'll, we'll find that out anyway. But I wanted to test the efficiency of uh, this on uh, 110 volts and on 240 volts, so I've got two trailing sockets, one coming from a, a transformer going to a trailing socket at 110 volts. It's actually hovers about 120 volts. This is a training socket plugged into a 240 volt supply, as I say, 241.9. So I'm going to plug it in. Right, let's go on to watts. It's drawing 0.3 watts on standby. What I've got here is a small power monitor and a load tester and a small short USB lead. Now, if I plug that straight in there, it's actually that way. So I can't read it. Now, there will be a bit of voltage drop across this, but not a lot. So anyway, you can switch it between a 1 amp load test or a 2 amp load test, but when I put it onto the 2 amp load test, this starts squealing at me. Starts uh, telling me to fuck off, so we'll do the test at 1 amp. So what I'll do, I'll plug that in there, right way, and then pop it into here. And straight away, if I take that out, uh, the camera's picking it up, that's saying 5.12 volts. So I'll put that in there. I'll switch to 1 amp. It goes down. That's, that's how many amps is going through. 0.93 amps. Put it onto the 2 amp. It cuts off. That briefly went up to about 8 watts. So we'll put it back onto... Uh, one amp test. Right. Let's come back to volts. We need watts. 4.2 watts. 6 watts. It's actually gone to 4.25. So, a bit burning my hands because them resistors do get quite hot. I'm going to get my phone out. So, calculator. So, what we've got is. Power out, so it's 4.27 divided by power in, which is 6 watts. 6.0 times 100. Oop, I've done something wrong there. Ah, I've passed divided, that's why. Try that again. 4.25. Five divided by six, and it's times a hundred. So it's seven point eight three. So let's say it's seven point one percent efficient. So at two hundred and forty volts. Oh, sloppy handwriting. What was it again? Seven point eight three, so let's say seven point one. So, so unplug that. 
more here, check the current, so how many amps is it drawing? So it says under supply 260 milliamps. It's drawing nothing. Put the load tester back in. Put the load tester directly into the uh, power supply, it shouldn't squeal at me. So amps 0.04 amps, so that's 4 milliamp. 7 milliamps on the uh, 8 milliamps, that's drawing now. Or is it 80? Uh, 0 0.08. Yeah, sorry, 80. Uh, yeah, 80 milliamp. Pardon me. Right, so we take that out. Now for the 110 volt. Now this is probably gonna. Yeah, 120 volts. It's because uh, it's under load, but we'll still call it 110 volts because that's it's a 110 volt transformer. So we put that back in. Watts. Zero point three watts. Oh, strange. Yeah, that's unusual. Not staying on now. Oh no, I think what they're doing, it must be, uh... anyway, we'll place a one watt load onto it. Five point nine watts, so how many watts are we getting on the eight buds? So it's virtually the same, it's, uh... Let's do the math again. So, what was it? 4.25 divided by 5.7 times 100. It's 74%. Yeah, it's actually a tiny bit more efficient on a 110 volts than it is on a 240. Let's see how many milliamps it draws. So, burning my fingers. That's the right, that's the right way. So we're drawing 3.8 watts. Sorry, 5.9 watts. It was back up to 6 watts. There's probably a slight voltage drop across this, but. Right, 190 milliamp. The 260 milliamp, that's quite high. I mean, that's on full 2 amp load. Oh, that must be. Why they've printed L on there, I don't know. It's pretty pointless putting the input current, it must be. I don't know. If anybody uh, knows why that's on there, leave a comment, but uh, yeah. So a tiny bit more efficient on 110 volts. That cooled down and uh, wrapped it up for this video. See you later.